Howdy folks. I did some testing on the weapons and I wanted to share my results with you. So let's take a look at the results here. And what I did was I used the spawners to spawn various bad guys and shoot them while they just stood there in creative mode. And this allowed me to determine how many shots it takes to kill them and therefore how many hit points of damage they do, assuming that the reported damage is accurate. So the numbers do appear to be accurate. The shotgun and the shotgun tier 2 appear to fire 8 pellets so that when all 8 hit, you're doing 8 times the amount of damage it says. So 50 is per pellet on the shotgun, etc. The rocket tier 1 and tier 2 appear to do twice as much damage um, as reported. I'm not sure why, and I assume that has to do with the way the radius damage or area damage is calculated. And I assume that's a lot greater for things like turrets because the rockets are able to, to one-shot the turrets, whereas, you know, a sniper rifle, for example, takes 20 or something shots to take it out. As you can see here, I found that the alien NPCs have 500 hit points and the golems have 5,000. I also figured out the firing rates and used that to determine the damage per second for each of the weapons too, as you can see here. Now the best ones are the Sniper Tier 2 and the Shotgun Tier 2, which is of course a close range weapon. For general use, you know, uh, running around in a POI or that kind of thing, the Pulse Rifle, the Tier 2 Pistol, and the Mini Gun are in general the best all around weapons for that. And you can actually do this much damage per second if you use a trick where instead of stopping to reload, you carry multiple copies of the weapon and you just switch slots when the other one is almost empty so that you can just continuously fire. And obviously you only have nine slots, so even if you were to fill up you know, your entire bar with one type of pistol, you're still gonna run out of ammo at some point, but generally you're gonna shoot whatever it is, you're gonna kill it before you run out. So this is a decent approximation of what you're going to get in actual practice. The weapons I don't recommend right now for anything are the Sniper Tier 1 because for some reason it only does 80 points of damage, which is really weird, and I did test that and it actually does only do 80 points of damage. I don't know why. But anyway, that and the Laser Pistol and Laser Rifle are also pretty much not worth using at this point. I'm not sure why they decided to make lasers slow, but they are and you have to lead with them and, and stuff moves around at a pretty decent speed compared to how fast your shot goes. So it's actually a pain to hit anything with those. And so in my opinion, they're not really worth using at this point in the game. So there's the look at the weapons and you can use this information for your own purposes and decide whatever you wanna do, whatever weapons you favor. And a lot of that is also going to be your own play style. So it's not necessarily just the numbers. If you found any inaccuracies or if you have any corrections to make or if you just have your own comments about the weapons in Empyreon, you're welcome to leave comments down below in the comments section. If you've got a favorite weapon or a certain trick that you've figured out that you think others might enjoy, then let us all know about it. Anyway, there's the information and you're welcome to use it any way you like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.